So I'm working on a uh, John Deere 710J backhoe today and working on these swing cylinders and as you can see they are of an interesting type to get apart. Uh, this is real common on the later John Deere's by later I guess I mean 2000s and newer. Uh, it's proprietary. So you'll start by taking this ring and you'll have a little split right here and you'll spread that split until you can pop the ring off once the ring is off, you can drive this center portion in. Uh, just be careful not to gouge the inside of the, uh, the barrel walls. But drive it in far enough past the uh, groove, and then you insert the tool that comes in the kit for the rebuild. Once you've driven the center portion inward past this groove, you can see this deep groove goes all the way around here. Uh, you enter the, the tool that comes in the seal kit from John Deere and what you'll do, this tool sits down in this groove so that the, the spring clip that's on the center portion can come past it without falling into the groove. And you just take it and lay it in there. You see one side's fatter than the other. And uh, you'll lay it in there just like this. And it's a pretty tight fit. So you'll have to, uh, there, just like that. And then get you some grease, lube it all around, and now you can pull the center section out and uh, the snap ring that's on the inside of the center portion can skip over the hole. Now it's very, very sticky. It takes a lot of force to pull it out. Uh, be very careful. Uh, a lot of people will beat it with hammers, uh, some dead blow hammers to try to get it out. Uh, just be careful you don't uh, come out and hit some other portion that you didn't mean to hit and damage the uh, center portion. So as you can see I've cleaned up this bore and you can see this groove that goes all the way around. It's fairly deep. It uh, catches that ring, catches on this outer part. That's what holds the cylinder center part in. Uh, you can see in this one that center part is going to be locked in down about here. So we need to make that ring jump over this hole without falling in it. And that's where your tool comes in. Uh, I'll try to show you a cross section here. See how the, uh, the end of it's tapered like that to fit down in this hole to allow it to skip over. Uh, now the cylinder bore has been all cleaned up with some brake cleaner, got rid of all the, the uh, residue, and it's now been honed. See the nice cross hatch pattern in there ready to put the new gland and uh, shaft in. So we've got all the new seals and rings installed from the kit and as you can see this right here is the ring that locks into that groove on the uh, cylinder barrel that has to be compressed with the tool as it gets pulled out. Uh, clean everything up really well and we're ready to install it back into the barrel. And we've got the barrel all greased up with some uh, grease and uh, down in the bore with hydraulic fluid. And we're going to set the, uh, the gland in there and the piston, get them down in there. And then we'll have to get that, that ring I showed you earlier to get into this groove right here or lock it in place. And you can see the, uh, the gland and the shaft are going in nice and smooth. We're just taking the uh, small dead blow hammer and just uh, pounded it in and it's actually going in very well and we're going to continue to go until this ring locks into that groove and then we'll put the outside ring on and we're done. So you can see the cylinders all back together now. Uh, the Getting the snap ring to go inside the barrel was a little bit tough. We used a hose clamp to help get it in there and get it started and all together sealed working good.